Trader! From around the world, what's going on? It's me, Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trader. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. I'm in Germany and I'm making this video because you rock. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to reward yourself. Now, in the last video that I made just a few days ago that you probably got, we were talking about less is more in trading and talking about the over trading epidemic that takes over a lot of traders' mentalities is you have to trade more in order to make more when really that's just not the case. In this particular video, however, I'm going to go after an entire different subset of traders. What if you are only making two to three R a month, but you're profitable? What do you do? Or let's say you're killing it and you're profitable. What do you do? I have traders of all different spectrums in the trading room who are making a few hundred thousand dollars a month, or I have traders who are making a few hundred dollars a month. Whatever the case is, Zig Ziglar says, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So if you want to achieve massive financial freedom, there are steps to do so, and it starts with rewarding yourself. When you are doing the right thing, when you're following your plan and making money, there are ways to reward yourself. An example would look like this. Let's say a trader takes an account from $20,000 to $22,000 or what, you know what, let's take off a zero. Let's say that a trader takes an account from $2,000 to $2,200, 200 bucks in an entire month. What does that trader do? Well, my personal opinion, pull some out, reward yourself. It doesn't have to be a lot. It could be 50, 75, 100, leave some in there. Jesse Livermore said he'd take out 50% of his profit. So if you took out a hundred bucks, and reward yourself that month, right? Maybe go out to you and your family, go out to a really nice dinner, and you drop 100 on the table. Maybe it doesn't cover the entire meal, but that $100, trust me, will probably feel like the best $100 you've ever spent. It's a really, really impactful thing. Again, it links positivity with doing the right thing. If you have a spouse and you go, hey, spouse, here's $100 from the market. I'm really excited about this, right? That links positivity with doing the right thing because you want your spouse to be there to support you but it's really hard for you to support you if you're just hemorrhaging money, right? So the overall goal, reward yourself, even if it's a small account or of course a large account. This works with any amount of zeros. If you got 20,000, you go up to 22,000, reward yourself. Pull out money every single month if you're profitable. And again, that's just my personal opinion, but if you want to reward yourself, you gotta make the money real. I know a lot of people go, well, I'll be happy when I have $100,000 if you got $20,000 in the account. Fact is, folks, be happy right now and start taking some profit, experience life, right? Reward yourself, link positivity, doing the right thing. It's crucial. One really good way is to find a small goal, something that you want to accomplish and figure out how much that will cost. Something like buying a new fridge or a dishwasher or a microwave, for example, or uh, refinishing the floors or whatever it is. Find something in your house specifically, and I'll get to the reason why I say that in a second, but focus on something that you can achieve and accomplish in a few months of trading profitably. Again, every one of us, and this is truly, I think, almost a fact, 98% of the traders who reach out to me have been profitable at one point in, the, in their time, one point in their trading career. And what usually happens is it'll take 20,000 up to 23, Right, they'll go back to 20, they go back up to 23, go back to 20, back up 23. You know, they'll get frustrated, annoyed, boop, down to 17, 17 to 20, 17 to 20, 17 to 20, to back to 15. And then and then they worry when it's at 15,000 because they lost five grand. When in reality, they could have taken out a thousand or two thousand dollars each time and they went from 20 to 23, lock in that gain and made that money real. And what that does is it calms you down, it makes you more comfortable and it links positivity with doing the right thing. And it forces your account to go back down. The reason I say that is because a lot of people feel different when they're playing with house money, right? They go, oh, well, this is free profits. I'm just gonna do whatever with it. They start thinking that mentality. It's called the big chip mentality in poker. When you're like, well, I got all this money. Sure, I'll call the 7-2 off suit. So the thing is, when you are trading profitably and you are up, Take that money, make it real to you. And the reason I say do it in your house is because every time you open that fridge and you go get yourself a beverage, you feel that cold air hitting your face, you're gonna smile and go, you know what? Trading bought me this fridge. I feel really good about that. It's something to think about, but it's a very easy, attainable goal. Find something monetarily that you wanna buy, get a price tag on it, and if it's, let's say, 2,500 bucks after taxes, tax tag and title out the door, you spend $2,629.83. 
Every time you make two, three hundred bucks, boom, pull out some money, put it into an account. All right, I'm back to where I started. Let me do that again. And then over time, you'll say, oh, wow, there's actually money growing over here. I, I totally forgot that there was 1700 bucks over there. And you start putting money aside, and then you go buy that thing, and you have that thing, if that's what a goal that you have in mind. This works really well with trips also. You see myself and Ashley take a lot of trips, and that's why we say, hey, I want to go there. Okay, how much does that cost? Boom, 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 boom. All right, $3,700. How can I make $3,700, which is a little bit over 10 hour a month, minus taxes and all that good stuff. So it's about two to three months of work. Uh, to make that amount of money, you make that amount of money trading, and it's like, all right, cool, now I'm gonna go take this trip. So figure out the small step. Now, obviously, you might not be able to stay in five-star resorts, or you might not be able to take a Mediterranean cruise with your family of 10 for three months, but you gotta start small. That's how you need an elephant, one bite at a time. You got to take a step in order to finish a marathon. All I'm getting at is reward yourself. Make sure you do it. If you are making money, if you start trading, and you go up and you're profitable and you go, yeah, I'm profitable. Figure out what you're doing because if you're just letting the money grow and you have no reason or nothing to spend it on or nothing to do with that money, you have nothing to do with this money, then what is it gonna do for you, right? Money wants to work. You gotta put that money to work. It wants to do things. It's there to be a slave to you, not the other way around. A lot of people have it backwards, but money is just a, a thing. It's a concept that we create. So make it work for you. Make it be your slave rather than you being a slave for money, right? Instead of you exchanging your time for money, figure out how money can appease your needs because you are the master. You are in control. You create value to the world. You will receive more money if it's through trading or business or relationships or coaching, whatever it is. Speaking of coaching, if you want to get at me, Jeremy at reallifetraining.com. I got a lot of slots opening in September, October if you want to reach out to me for coaching. But regardless, reward yourself, ladies and gentlemen, Make sure to do this. This is a key aspect in trading. you got to trust me on it. It will absolutely ratify your trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have an amazing rest of your week. You rock, and I will see you next week when I get back from Germany. <laughs> see ya.